Hello, this is LJ Bothell, and this is a short video to introduce you to the Business Technology Essentials Open Educational Resource book published through Open Washington Press Books. The book is, uh, uses an interface, the black and red, that comes from Press Books. The author has no control over that. The only control the author has is what's inside of the book. But this interface does give you access to some information. You can first access this book, even though you're not a member of Open Washington Press Books. You don't need to sign in. It's simply available to the public. This is the URL that you might want to make a note of. And if you don't have the URL, then you can go to the Open Washington Press Books and you can do a search for the book title, Business Technology Essentials, or under the author's name. If you scroll down, you can see that it's a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial License, which basically means it's free to read, free to use on more than one device. It's other instructors can choose to use this book and use it with other materials. And as a student um, or an instructor, you're allowed to print this book out because it is uh, open license. It is not subject to being, um, you know, breaking copyright by making a printout. You can download this book using this drop down below the, the book image. You can download it in EPUB format, a digital PDF format, or a print PDF format if you happen to want to print the book out because you like to actually have a physical, tangible, tangible book next to you. If you scroll down the page, you'll be able to see contents of all the stuff that's in the book and some more information about the licensing in the description. To read the book, to use the book, Basically choose read book and then you will end up in the interface that shows you the chapters in order. It will start with the very first page and then you can at the lower right click next part, next chapter. And if you decide you want to go to a previous chapter at the lower left, you have a link to that. There's also a link to the contents on the left hand side of the screen in a drop down. The main body tends to be collapsed as a default. If you click the plus sign to uncollapse it, then you will be able to see the various chapters. And you can also collapse that and then also collapse the contents and then just start using the book. Let's take a look at one of the chapters just to see what it looks like. Say we wanted to come down and take a look at Chapter 2, Computers. It will bring you here and the contents are re-collapsed, re and then you'll see how the book looks. It will use different sections and subsections to try to break up the information and make it readable. And then there will usually be one or more Try Me activities that give you a chance to work through some content in a chapter if there is any content like that. And if there isn't, you may end up with like a quick task that will ask you some questions, give you some things to think about, that instructors can use as a starting point for making some assignments. There'll be a few images here and there, and the images do have alt text, although you don't see them when you hover over the image like you may on other websites. They do have alt, uh, alt uh, text in them so that this book should be set up properly for a uh, text uh, reader to be able to acquire the information in order for someone who needs to use a screen reader and uh, rely on that for the information. An example of a quick task or an assignment would give a, a, a green bar to give you some things that you can do, that you can ask questions on, etc. So that is a brief overview of how this press book works for business technology except essentials. Thanks very much. Goodbye.